So there's four forces that we care about within a pressure regulator. One is the loading force. So we talked a little bit about that just now, right? When we compress the spring or allow that spring to relax, that loading force is going to change. Next is the inlet spring force. So most every regulator will have some sort of spring that keeps the poppet pushed against the seat if there's low or no inlet pressure to help do that. Um, and that's a really light, light spring, but it is something we have to consider. Um, next is the outlet pressure force. So this is what we care about, right? So that's all the force that's created by the outlet pressure acting on the underside of that sensing mechanism. And then finally is the inlet pressure force. So while the area is smaller on the poppet, there is some force that's created by that inlet pressure. Um, and that does play into the balance of forces. So um, you could probably um, tell what the equation might look like just based on the arrows, but the F1, our loading force, has to balance out against F2, F3, and F4. And the regulator is going to constantly self-adjust to maintain that balance as best it can. And so you'll hear me talk about this quite a bit through the next sections. Um, so I wanted to be sure we had a baseline of just what's going on in, in these regulators. So if we turn the handle uh, clockwise, right? So we're, we're compressing that spring. The F1 goes up, right? We've compressed the spring, increases the force. And the only other thing, if we assume that our inlet pressure or our inlet source is large enough that it's not going to change by any appreciable amount, so F4 is the same, the inlet spring force, that doesn't change a lot, right? It's kind of just a light spring. Um, so the only thing that can change to maintain that balance within the regulator is F3. So F3 has to also rise by some proportional amount, right? And that has everything to do with the sensing area and all that. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a bit. Um, but that's really how the regulators regulators operate, is when any of those inputs change, um, the balance of forces inside the regulator works to, to equalize itself. 